In this recording I cover the one-to-one -one doctrine relationship. The thing you'll probably find with the one-to-one -one relationship is not how to implement it because it's actually quite simple but it's more a question of where and when to implement it. So I've got a couple of examples in which I'll use in this recording which I've taken from the uh, doctrine documentation. So let's give it a go. This first example is going to be an e-commerce example. So I'm going to create a cart and a customer. So thinking about it, one customer will have one cart and one cart will belong to one customer. So very straightforward to implement. I'm just going to add a couple of properties to each. Our main consideration is on which class, which is the owning entity, i.e. where should the foreign key reside? That, that's one of the biggest questions you have when you're creating a one-to-one. -one. So the way I think about it is there will always be a customer. A customer can exist without a cart, but a cart would not exist without a customer. So thinking about it that way, then that's where how I would define where your foreign key will be, i.e. which is the owning side. And so that will be the cart. I'm adding my annotations. I'm telling Doctrine, please treat this as an entity. The primary key stuff, you're going to use that the same code so many times that you might as well create a little snippet and cut and paste in like I've done there. And now we're looking at the relationship. So reading left to right, one cart to one customer. And that will be inverse by cart, i.e. the cart property on the customer entity. Join table, so join column rather. I'm going to need this because I need to specify that nullable should be false because its default is for nullable to be true, but I don't want to have carts which don't have an owning customer. So all that should make sense here. The final bit is to do reference column name, which as per usual is the primary key on the inverse entity. Then with that in place, I'm just going to auto generate my getters and setters. And usually once I've done this, I just check that they actually make sense. Don't just blindly auto generate stuff without checking it. So set customer, is that something I would likely do on a new cart? Yes, it is. Get customer, am I likely to want to retrieve the customer object of a cart? That's also possible. Set ID, I don't need that because that will be done automatically. I need to add some annotations to the customer class. So to the class itself, add the entity and table annotations. I'll give the table a name of customer lowercase. And then for the primary key, top tip of using PHP Storm is Shift Command V, and that brings up the last 10 or so things that you copied. So I'll copy and paste that in. Reading left to right, the relationship one customer to one cart and mapped by is the uh, mapping property on the owning side of the relationship and here's another little tip annotations they're not easy to read you can't just browse them so what I tend to do is I also just put a little legible note on each relation and then any other programmers that you're working with can just quickly glance at them and know exactly what the relationship is without having to actually start focusing on annotations okay i'm going to auto generate my getters and setters now so i'll take a look at them and see do they make sense set cart am i likely to say customer set cart i don't think that makes sense so i'm going to remove that would i say customer get cart yes of course i'll probably use that all the time so that one can stay and then i'm just going to remove set id because the id will be set automatically because it's an auto generated primary key. Now what I need to do is move over to the console and I'm just going to do doctrine migrations diff. That will look at my entity files, look at the database, see what's different between the two. And it's created me this lovely migration file. So let's take a look at this. Here's our uh, custom ID field which has been generated and that is a foreign key which references the cart so to actually run that i now need to do doctrine migrations migrate just check yes when it asks you are you sure 
and then that will have created our tables so we'll go over to dbeaver as you can see our cart has been created and also our customer has been created so we'll check those out so as you can see no foreign keys on the customer table but if we look at our cart table there's our foreign key cart references customer table using the customer id foreign key what i'd like to do now is move back over to php storm and the doctrine relations controller because i'm just going to create a controller method to quickly test this out as per usual i inject the entity manager interface and so i'm going to create a customer first because a customer can exist without a cart but i can't can't exist without a customer so customer didn't have any fields it just had an id so I just need to persist that using the Entity Manager. Create the cart. So the cart just had um, two properties, one being the ID, the primary key, and the other one being the customer. So cart, set customer, and we set it to the newly created customer object and then all we need to do is entity manager persist and then to really persist it to the database we need to call entity manager flush I'll borrow a little success message from the previous method and I'll customize it then we just need to do our routing annotations and we'll just call this one to one let's check it out in the browser and there we have it a customer created with id1 and cart created with id1 you should have found that fairly straightforward if you do have any questions then of course leave those in the comments down below i do respond to them all now i'm moving on to the second example which is going to be self-joining, but it's going to be a one-to-one -one self join. And the example I'm going to use is that of a student and mentor. So the mentor will also be a student. So I add my annotations to the class entity and table, and I'm just going to give this a couple of properties. That being the foreign key. So again, on PHP storm shift command V that brings up all your recent clips, paste that in. And then I'm just going to add my one uh, relationship property, which will be mentor. And so using annotations, I'm going left to right, one student to one student, because the mentor is also a student. And for the join column, I'm going to allow nullable to be true because not all students will have a mentor and I don't actually have to say nullable equals true because that's the default behavior so all I have to add to this is a reference to column name which is the ID column on the same table I'll auto generate my getters and setters set mentor and get mentor they both make perfect sense and i'll use them all the time so all i do is remove set id because that gets auto generated and then as before i need to do doctrine migrations diff what's changed in my entities so in my migrations folder there's a new version file i'll tidy it up i haven't actually changed any code when i say i've tidied it up i've just made it more legible and so there you can see our foreign key mentor ID references ID on the same table. And so in order to run that, we need to go back to the console and run doctrine migrations migrate. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Now, best practice at this point will be to go and check the database and make sure that those tables have been created how you would expect them to be created. But I've done it so many times over the course of these recordings. That I trust it to have worked. I'm going to go straight to the controller and create a demo method. So I'm calling this one to one self joining. 
and I'm looking at the methods in this controller and I've injected entity manager interface into all of them. So it's a repeat dependency. A controller is just a PHP class like any other. So what I can do is I can inject that into the constructor instead and set entity manager as a property on the controller. So all I need to do is say this entity manager equals entity manager in my constructor. And I no longer need to inject that into the method because I'll just be able to say this entity manager. So what do I need to do here? We'll start off with a mentor. A mentor equals new student. Persist that. And then I just need to create a new student and set the mentor. So new student equals new student and new student set mentor. And I pass in the mentor object which we just created. I'll also need to persist this. And just as a reminder, when you say entity manager persists, you're not actually persisting anything to the database just yet. In order to do that, you have to say this entity manager flush. Let's borrow a little success message from a previous method and we'll customize that. And we add our routing. And once that's done, all we'll need to do is return to the browser, update our URL to one to one self joining. And as you can see, a mentor record created with ID 1 and a new student record created with ID 2. Let's check out that in the database. We'll give the beaver a refresh. So here's our student table, two properties, ID and mentor ID. Look at our foreign keys, owner, student, reference table, student. I just want to run a quick query to see what's currently sitting in our database. And select all from student. And there you have our mentor and our student. The mentor obviously having no mentor ID and we allowed that to be nullable. And there you have the one-to-one -one relationship in Doctrine. So like I said at the beginning, it's simple to implement, but the questions I tend to find that I ask myself are, is this the right option here? And is it a better option than the one-to-many? Are you planning on using the one-to-one -one in your own project? Let me know how you plan on using it in the comments down below. I respond to them all. If you would like to be informed when I release new content, you can do so by subscribing and clicking the notifications bell. I release new content at least every 10 days and details of my upcoming material can be found on the homepage.